Okay, we're back. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our list that we just got done harvesting, and we're going to check it against our black list. So, done. And I've already taken that, and I've made it. Links list, 777. I did that just to cut out some time and reduce some of the waiting. I'm going to go ahead and start that. And we'll bump that down. Now, a couple settings uh, that I have while you're watching that is I have these really high. You do not have to have these this high. In fact, for what we have here, what we could really get away with is something more like yeah, this. Uh, with guest books, they're usually not that large. Um, well, you know what, we'll go a little bit larger than that. Yeah, they usually don't have that many URLs on them, but 3,000 is going to be a safe bet no matter what. Something most x users don't do is they don't keep an eye on their performance meter, uh, their CPU performance while x is running. It's very important to do so. That way you know if your processor is running uh, at a higher uh, percentage of actual usage than it should. I like to keep mine around a 70% average. Right now it's at a 30% average, but it has all this time in it where it wasn't doing anything. So, um, you know, that will average higher and higher as we go. I think the peak that we've hit so far is 76%. So we could actually uh, reduce the periodicity slightly. Oh, it had an immediate effect. <laughs> um, Let's see where that leaves us. Okay, we drop back down to 27, 33, 34. I'll increase the th thread count by 15. Uh, and see what that does to our CPU usage. You can see how fast x is running through this links list, by the way. Uh, I mean, it's just cooking right through it. It's already a quarter of the way through it. We had a grand total of 88, 36 as far as our total number of links in this list, so 8,836 potential targets. If you want to see if it's been successful or not, uh, it's been pretty successful thus far. It's about what I would expect out of 22 potential 100 targets, it's hit about half of them. So 1,100 links, pretty easy to come across already in what, less than a minute, maybe a minute or two. Uh, back to our performance graph. Uh, this is something that yeah, that's about what I might like to see. Our average is now 55% uh, and climbing slightly. So this, to me, is an acceptable uh, amount of processor usage, quite honestly. I wouldn't really go much higher than this. A lot of guys like to run their units closer to 90-95%. Uh, I don't. Right now it's at 98%, 95%, 87%, 91%. The reasons for that are it's probably encountering a lot of recapture captures right now, and those are notoriously processor demanding in terms of actually solving them. Uh, if this continues, if this processor usage continues, I will begin to reduce the threads and increase the periodicity uh, to reduce the taxing demands on the processor. I'm already starting to get nervous. That big uh, amount of time at 100%, I do not like to see. And here we are again, spending a lot of time at 100%. This is no good. Um, we're averaging in the high 80s. Well, just as I said, that would be to drop a little bit. Uh, this is a situation I'd begin to watch more closely, uh, you know, there's two schools of thought here in that you may be giving up a little speed uh, just for the sake of not having your processor run at the usage amount that, you know, you could be running it at. Um, my thought is is that if every thread is fighting for processor cycles that uh, you're going to cost yourself a number of successful postings uh, and ultimately it will take longer to solve CAPTCHAs, meaning that you'll, in the end, slow yourself down. But like I said, those are two different schools of thoughts, and that one just happens to be mine. I don't know which one is right, which one's wrong. Um, you know, 
it's each individual operator has their own groove that they get into and that's something with XRimmer that you don't really see in a lot of other software applications because most applications are just you know start push the button you know and it's going to do whatever it's going to do uh, with XRimmer there's a lot of individual taste uh, a lot of uh, preferential type things that you just don't get into with other software applications. Uh, you know, so here we're an average usage of 87%, 86%. This is still, I mean, it's okay. Uh, the only reason I'm letting it go is because I see us dipping below 60% occasionally, uh, and then obviously we're at 58% now and 75, 51. So I think that this overall uh, scheme is probably okay long term. That's why I didn't adjust the multi thread settings or the periodicity. I let it kind of play out. But it's going to do whatever it's going to do. I don't know if anyone hears my yapping dog in the background, but if you do, I'm sorry about that. He's a cute little bastard, but he will never shut up. So, um, that having been said, uh, the performance meter can give you a variety of different. Uh, metrics, but the most important one that you should be concerned with is the processor uh, usage, because that is your your big indicator of what's going on inside of XRimmer while it's running. You know, as far as is it's you know is it devouring a lot of captchas? Is it potentially hanging up? You know, things along those lines. Uh, and now we're starting to drop real low. We're in the 33, 28, 25. Here's a situation where if it stays that way uh, over the course of the next reading period, I may end up increasing the threads because running the processor uh, very low is just giving up time. You know, it's one of those things where if it's too high, it may bog the program down, and if it's too low, it's not running at its peak efficiency in terms of time to posting. So we'll see how that plays out. We're about, uh, I don't know, well we're exactly five-eighths of the way through the list actually after I think about it, 8,800 targets, 53, so we're about halfway there, uh, you know, and it's going to do what it's going to do. So actually, I will stop the video here because there's nothing really more for me to show you at this point, and then I'll pick it back up after the list has finished, and we'll go through self-learning. All right? All right, we'll see ya.